How to fit everything? A small apartment of 43 M2 in Moscow with a smart layout. Natalia and Ivan Trofimov's, the Blick Studio Bureau, designed a snow-white apartment in the center of Moscow and showed how to create a feeling of incredible lightness of being on an area of only 43 square meters with the help of a competent layout, mirrors and interior windows. The apartment is located in a small old house near Perskaya Street. Ivan and Natalia Trofimov, Blick Studio, came here at the stage of buying real estate. Alexei, the owner of the apartment, was dressed in black from head to toe, the architects recall. As it turned out, this is his favorite color. But one glance at the space was enough to decide. The interior will be very light, airy and always white. However, at some point there were so many whites that the camp became like a Catholic school. All that was missing was a crucifix on the bed, Alexei joked. And then there were new color accents. We decided to add a dark blue color and painted a niche accidentally discovered in the room during construction, made blue panels on the facades of cabinets, says Natalia. A red velvet curtain appeared in the dressing room at the entrance, our tribute to David Lynch's Twin Peaks. To complete the picture, we hung two mirrors opposite each other, which created the effect of infinity circled in red. A sliding partition made of frosted glass allows natural light from the bathroom to penetrate into the corridor. Furniture is the minimum, so each item has passed the strictest selection. The main criteria were the absence of a pronounced design and super comfort with compact dimensions. To visually expand the dining room, the architects designed a sideboard with a mirror located at eye level of the person sitting at the table. At Alessio's request, a Rembrandt self portrait appeared in the room, the famous large-scale engraving was transferred to the canvas by illustrator Diana Kostova. The signature, also at Alessio's request, was executed in bright neon. But the most interesting thing in this project is the layout, made without a single blank wall. All zoning of the space is carried out by glass partitions and sliding doors. Thus, we manage to save space and maintain transparency, allowing natural light to penetrate into absolutely every area of the apartment, the architects say. Thanks to the windows facing both sides, the private and public parts of the apartment are clearly separated. A bathroom with a window is great, but we manage to get by with two windows. An affordable kitchen with an area of only 2 M2. M, Alexei jokingly called it a sample kitchen, and now we are pleased with stories about what difficult dishes he cooks here, what an incredibly light feeling of life he experiences every time he returns home, and as a separate point, how large the cabinets for black clothes are conveniently organized. A small apartment for art lovers in Moscow. Designer Elena Povarova violated the unspoken rules for the design of small spaces, filling the apartment with an area of 38 square meters with contrasting shades, classic details and art. The interior of this small apartment is designed for a couple who collects art objects. Designer Elena Povarova had two main tasks, to create a comfortable space that meets the lifestyle of customers and to find a worthy place for each item in her collection. On an area of 38 square meters, the designer managed to organize a separate bedroom, which is located behind sliding partitions, a full-fledged dining area and a place for receiving guests. It was decided to move most of the storage systems to the corridor and hallway. The kitchen and workspace are designed in muted tones, accentuated by black handles and edges that emphasize the facades of cabinets. The main theme in the interior is generally black details, portals, headlights and tires, as well as sockets and switches are made in this color. I wanted to show that even in small rooms, you can use dark shades to add elegance to the atmosphere, says Elena Povarova. In addition, the designer decided to abandon minimalism, which is considered to be the best option for small apartments, and add classic elements such as moldings, cornices and high baseboards. By the way, they are also in black. Special attention was paid to furniture. Almost all things are made to order. The central place is occupied by a table with an unusual red and black stand. Its color scheme reflects the palette of the neighboring reproduction of Masha Yankovskaya's work. When the client saw this image on the mudboard, she immediately fell in love, and the whole interior began to take shape around her. 
Another highlight of the interior is a panel in the bathroom. The sketch was invented by the customer's granddaughter, the designer transferred this idea to porcelain stoneware, and the masters from Medique Floor brought it to life. Bright interior with a minimum budget, Moscow Apartment 48 M2. Minimum budget, maximum imagination and a veto to help, this is the whole set of tools with which architects Peter Grigorash and Daria Blazinkova transformed a small apartment in an old house the curtain was supplemented with fashionable contrasting edging, and the cubes were used as wall mounts for the glass tabletop in the study area. The main wish of the customers was to make an unusual interior for minimal money, say architects Peter Grigorash and Daria Blazinkova. Since the apartment is located in a Stalinist house, the idea immediately arose to use Soviet vintage to solve both of these tasks. The floor is made of colored OSB panels, reinforced concrete screed, walls for painting. In this project raw materials were used as finishing materials, and almost all the furniture was bought on a veto or received as a gift from friends and acquaintances. Completed. With this approach, we had to design a lot during construction or think about it after we received the furniture. Since the kitchen is located in the living room, it was immediately clear that standard upper cabinets are not suitable here. Very practical in our time, a friend's upper part of the buffet of the early 20th century fell off. The antique object was in excellent condition, even the mirror was preserved, it only remained to hang it on the wall. The image was complemented by marble sconces and brass sheets, bought once at a flea market in Belgium. As for the layout, initially the apartment had one large room. It was divided by a partition into a bedroom with a dressing area and a kitchen living room. The hallway and bathroom are located in the load-bearing walls, so their location has not been changed. The only branded item in this interior is the silicone chandelier in Ingo Moore's dining room, the architects continue but we care about absolutely everything. Each of them has its own history, each evokes associations. In the bedroom, for example, there is a bronze sconce from the 1970s from the workshop of A.D. Gitberg. Combined with the almost empty walls, it creates an incredibly peaceful atmosphere. There is a closet in the hallway that smells of childhood. This is noticed by everyone who opened it. Everyone had a different childhood and the memories seem to be very similar. 49M2 office apartment for a video blogger in Chelyabinsk. Designer Tatyana Basova designed an apartment for a blogger who is fond of expensive Swiss watches, a non-trivial multifunctional space for creativity, filming, meetings and thematic apartment owners. The owner of the apartment is a video blogger who is in love with expensive, high-quality Swiss watches. For more than 15 years he has been studying watchmaking in factories and workshops in Switzerland, Japan, and France, writing reviews and telling his subscribers about it. He wanted the interior to be strict, clear and graphic, like his hobby, which does not tolerate mistakes. As a designer, I needed to bring lightness and irony into this right space, taking into account the functional side, says the author of the project Tatyana Basova. When choosing an apartment, the future owner consulted with the designer and eventually settled on a room with a kitchen of 17sq.m and a large room of 25sq.m. This area was quite enough for our task, and the developer bought this apartment as a property, says the designer. We immediately noticed that the development was a success and we will not change anything. I just suggested removing the doors from the main rooms to create a smooth spatial effect. The designer clearly divided the space into zones, applying the principle of symmetry and balance, and highlighting these groups with light. The apartment has a work area with a table and shelves, a place for meetings and communication, with soft sofas and a low table, part of the interior with windows, and a mirror for fitting watches and video conferences. In this room, filming regularly takes place in different places, in one part of the apartment, than in another. The walls are decorated with works by local artists and black and white graphic photographs from the owner's personal archive. On the shelves, books and original photographs are intertwined with prizes and client items brought from watch factories. In the room where the main work activity takes place and filming is underway, there are custom-made display cases with lighting and roll-out boxes along the wall. 
they are locked with locks. The watches that are displayed in them are always rare and valuable, some models cost more than 1 million. Major watch brands send their best novelties to the blogger for review, which can be considered and tried on in the area next door. The kitchen in the apartment is small and functional, a compact sink, a two-zone induction cooker, an extractor hood, an 800mm high refrigerator with a freezer, integrated into the lower line of kitchen equipment, in short, there is everything you need that should be fully cooked. Since the customer often receives guests, there is a large solid oak table and ash-colored plastic chairs for six people in the kitchen. Creative parties are held here in the apartment from time to time.